Okay, so let's say this was 2018 and I know nothing about forex trading. What would I do for me to become successful or for me to make money in the market? Okay, so today let me show you the three-step process that I think everyone should go through if they want to become a successful trader. And also, if I was starting out today from scratch knowing nothing, what would I do? Okay, so there's a three-step process and I will start off with step number one. Step number one is find a reliable source and learn from that reliable source. Now, when it comes to learning how to trade forex, there's one biggest problem that people make. People think that I need a $1,000 mentor, I need a $10,000 mentor for me to become a successful trader. Well, a mentor is okay, and it's really important for you to, to have someone that supports you throughout your process of learning how to trade. But the biggest problem with most mentors now is that there's going they're going to charge you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars and then at the end of the day they, they give you the most basic course that you are going to find on the internet. And that is not good at all for you and for uh for, for, for you and your trading. Okay. So what should you do? I what what I think you should do is that if you want to be a successful trader, do not try to learn everything for now. The step number one should be learning the basics. And then once you learn the basics and the fundamentals, you stick to that and then you teach yourself as you move. What do I mean by this? I can teach you everything that I know. I can give you a lot of strategies, a lot of tactics that you can do that I've been doing for the past like seven years now. But the problem with that is that I can teach you the tactics. I can teach you when to enter, when to exit all the setups. But at the end of the day, I can teach, I can't teach you how to really really control your emotions because in trading it's more of your emotions than your the trades that you are going to place uh, directly right so i can't teach you how to control your emotions that is a job that is something that you do along the way because you have learned a lot of things so the first step is going to be to understand only the basics don't go for don't spend thousands of dollars just trying to learn how to trade all you have to do is Find a simple course that you are going to go through and then you learn the basics, how the market works, how the market moves. And then once you do that, the rest you are going to learn as you move on. Now to do this, uh, I wish I had a course when I started, but there wasn't really a course for beginners. But now I found a course that you can be using right now. Make sure if you check the description, you'll find a way to get into that course and then you can learn without uh paying any amount of money you can learn it for free and learn all the basics and fundamentals that you need before you move to step number two okay so step number two is setting your goal now when it comes to your goal there's different way of setting goals as a trader and setting goals with other things in life okay so if i if i mean any another type of business i would set a goal of saying okay i need to make maybe ten thousand dollars per month or i need to make ten thousand dollars in six months or maybe in a year but in trading you can't do that because if you set a specific goal of the a specific amount of money that you're going to be needing to make per month sometimes your strategies are going to go in a direction sometimes they're going to go in a different direction so you don't have you can't set a specific number as a goal what you want to do is you want to set a goal that helps you become more disciplined in your craft so what do you do you say okay i have hundred dollars in my account i want to set a, myself a goal that i'm going to place the next 20 trades with one risk management with one setup okay so for example with hundred dollars i can place 20 trades risking five dollars per trade to make ten dollars per trade but the goal now is not to place that trade the goal is to make sure that all those trades i'm going to place them with one strategy and that is going to help me develop the discipline that i need to be as a successful trader so it's more important to set your goals for discipline rather than the amount of money that you're going to make so if i can set my goal if i can set a goal to say i'm going to place the next 20 trades risking five dollars per trade to make ten dollars and i'm not going to change anything even if i lose the whole hundred dollars in the process i'm not going to change the setup i'm not going to change anything that's the goal that you want to set for yourself then the third step that is more important than almost all these steps is I want to make sure that I have a, at least a setup or a strategy to follow. This is something that people ignore, but it helps a lot. What you want is make sure that you have a strategy to follow and then that strategy is going to build you the confidence to move on. Now, now why do you need a strategy if you are trading the market? Okay, Most people that are trading right now, 
uh, or maybe let's take you for example if you look at your past five trades and if you say did you place these trades with one setup or with one set of rules it's more likely that you didn't okay you were placing maybe these trades with the different rules or different feelings of the trade you didn't place the trade just because you're likely to win you place the trade maybe because you are likely you want to make more money fast and you can't wait until the next setup comes which is one of the biggest problems that we all make even maybe especially if we are starting out so what you want to do is you want to have at least a setup and also or a strategy that you follow for the next those first 20 trades that i'm talking about so let's say i place 100 dollars in my account again i want to make sure that for those 20 trades that i'm going to place i need a one setup or a strategy that i follow faithfully now once you have this strategy once you've placed this amount of trades the next step that you can do obviously if you start finding success is that maybe after six months or so you need to start adding your strategies right you want to build a library of strategies let's say you have like three strategies so i have one strategy that i've placed the trades for for the past 20 trades or for the past six trades now if this strategy is profitable now i have that strategy i'll put it aside and then i'll create another strategy so that i can build like a library of strategies so your first year your second year shouldn't be really much about making thousands or making bigger amounts of money it's all about building your discipline your consistency and how do you build your discipline and consistency firstly you want to make sure that you have a goal and your goal shouldn't be to make a lot of money your goal should be to build consistency and make sure that you can place those trades and make money in the market then after that you want to make sure that you have a strategy once you have a strategy you want to make sure that you trade it faithfully for a certain period of time and then once you are comfortable with that strategy you just have to wait for your trades now when you wait for your trades you can either wait for that one strategy to play out or you can build a library of strategies let's say you have like three strategies that you can trade in any market condition let's say you have a trending strategy you have a, a strategy when the market is ranging okay so that would be the first three things that i would do if i was to start trading today from scratch knowing nothing so if you want to learn how to trade forex now i'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn how to become consistent make sure you subscribe to the channel because the next video that i'm going to come up with is specifically going to be focused on people who want to build consistency in the market